Okay, I don't know exactly what time it is, but I think it's somewhere around 5.30 maybe. I'm in De Pere, Wisconsin. And as I said earlier, I've been told to drop my load here at the yard instead of the receiver. And then, uh, so from here I'll go home. And now we gotta um, unpack the gold wing. I hate leaving this gold wing here. All the dust. Yeah, the wind escaping the, you know, that cover. It scuffs up the paint, the finish. But it's, it's a motorcycle, so it's not like a baby. Although I treat it like a baby sometimes. And there she is, look at that. You see, this is what I'm talking about right here. Look at that, that's all the rubbing. That's all the rubbing from the, uh, the cover. Uh, one of the features that this Goldwing has is this right here. Watch this. Oh, look at that. It opens the trunk. Check that out, huh? Oh, forgot to open this. Oh, there it is. Look at those babies. Look at all the junk I have in there. Okay, this, I'm gonna stick it in here. Oh, there goes the weather stripping. I basically put this gloves in the antenna is because this is really sharp when it rubs on the motorcycle cover that that tears up your motorcycle cover like crazy it just it was sharp like a blade so I had to file that off and after filing it I also put my gloves on there to prevent it from tearing up my motorcycle cover. First thing I gotta do is I gotta check the tire pressure. If I could find a tire gauge, there it is. For some reason, I can't remember the tire pressure on this motorcycle, for some reason. It's 35, let's see, front, 36 PSI, rear is 41. I got to look at that every single time. I don't know why I can't remember it, but that's what, that's what it is.
This motorcycle has been sitting here for at least a week and a half, I think. Two weeks. And it's at, ooh, it's at 44. It makes sense since the weather is getting warm. Right on 41. Now I would imagine once I get down the road, the tire will heat up and that makes the air expand and just create more tire pressure okay 35 over here 35 pressure oops Come on, can't hold it. This is at 40. Actually, 36 it should be. 35. It calls for 35, hot or cold. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but I drilled a hole in there and uh, I put a cigarette lighter plug. Then I put this USB charger in there. Voila! And I put my cell phone in there. Now, the first thing I gotta do is I gotta take my aluminum plates out. I tried leaving my motorcycle here one time without these aluminum plates, so they started sinking on the black top. And I said, I cannot do that anymore. Because it, it sat here for like, I think it sat here for like more than two weeks and it started sinking really bad. And uh, by the time I got here, it, the bike was almost tipped over. I got way too much junk in this thing. Way, way too much junk. Was thinking of putting it right here which I could probably still do which I am not going to do right now I want to get home I want to get down the road I don't want to be messing around with this. Okay. Now I bet you I won't be able to open this. See? I don't know how you keep that open. I don't know how you keep making it stay. Well, let's see if it fires up. Of course it's going to fire up. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. And there she is. It's alive. Hey, everybody. Johnny, be good. Let's make them ready to go. 
I decided just to go home and this gold one needs a really bad wash. So I'm going to go home right now, which is 60 miles away. I'm going to take the back roads and enjoy the scenery and go home and wash the gold wing, make it shine. Hopefully, uh, I'll have enough time to ride around for tonight. Okie dokie, I'll give you some footage on the way home. Peace.